If you've ever tried starting an affiliate marketing business and you don't know where to start from. So you don't know, come. Today, I'm going to show you how you can do it from start to finish, even if you're a complete beginner. I'm going to show you all the steps that you need to take, how you can get an audience to buy from you and how you can sell to that audience. And I'm also going to show you a few of the websites that I personally use to do affiliate marketing. Contrary to what many people think, affiliate marketing is a great way to make money nowadays, but it still is a numbers game and you still need to have a certain audience to market to. And today I'm going to show you how you can do that as fast as possible. So basically there are two ways you can build an audience. The first way that you can build an audience is using money. And the second way is using no money. And the using no money, the organic strategy requires you to have more knowledge in attracting people to what you're doing. And what do I mean by that? The fastest way you can do this is by using social media nowadays. If you wanna use a YouTube channel, a Instagram account, a Twitter account, or even a TikTok account, which is what most people are using these days because it has the most organic reach. And all you have to do is build a simple opt-in page where people can give you their email. You can even use a Google form for that. And you need to have some products to offer people so they want to give you their email. So let's just take this one step at a time. If you wanna start building something organically, it's going to take time. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's going to take some time, but you can absolutely do it organically. And the route I personally would take to build a audience organically would be building a YouTube channel, using YouTube shorts, using TikToks, and that is it. Maybe I would use a Instagram account. I would put my link in the bio and I would post Instagram reels every day. Since I'm also going to be posting TikToks on YouTube shorts, I could just take that same content and post it to Instagram reels. And when people watch my Instagram reel, they will go into my Instagram profile and they will see the link in my bio. That is one way of attracting clients or customers or even leads as you may say it. And the other way you can do that is by adding your link to your TikTok profile. Bear in mind on TikTok, you will need to have 1000 followers for your link to be clickable, but that is pretty easy to get if you master the ability to make viral videos. And by the way, if you would like to see a video on how to build viral videos, leave it down in the comments and I'll make a video for you guys. And if you like to make money online, build businesses online. And if you're also interested in social media growth, I'd highly suggest you to subscribe to the channel because that's literally all I post here and by you subscribing you actually help me bring these videos for you for absolutely free so now that you know the organic route the second route is you need to build an opt-in page and an opt-in page is just a simple website where people can give you their emails I'm going to show you mine right now so you have an idea of what I'm talking about so this right now that you're looking at is my opt-in page this is where people go to give me their emails in exchange for certain things right so in this case here I'm offering them a PDF which they can use to get a free cheat sheet on how to blow up on social media, TikTok and Instagram. And also the people that join this list, I also offer them discounts. I offer them opportunities. I send them news. I send them a lot of stuff. And that's the value that they're getting in exchange to give me their emails. And as you can see, it doesn't have to be anything flashy. You can just tell people what you're going to offer them, make a simple opt-in page, a place for them to give you their email and a, a button for them to submit it. And that is it. That's all you have to do. After you've done that, you make your offer. And then if you're going the paid route, which is the second route we're talking about right now, you're going to make ads and you're going to run ads either on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Facebook and Instagram are the same company. So if you run ads on Facebook, you're probably going to be running ads on Instagram as well. And TikTok is one that you can get the most bang for your buck right now. It's the cheapest ads that you can get at the moment. If you have some cash laying around, I would highly suggest you to go for the TikTok ads route. There are also other ways that you can build your audience. You can also look at your Facebook account, your Instagram account, the people that already follow you. But if you don't have any people that are potential customers or that are interested in what you have to offer, you can just follow these guides and you will be on your way to growing your audience. Bear in mind, you need to have an audience to start affiliate marketing because like I said, it is a numbers game. One thing that I forgot to say is that you don't need a huge audience. About 500 people to 1000 people, you will already be ready to start making money. You can already start making some money with an audience of about 500 people to 1000 people. And now that you have your audience, what you have to do is you need to affiliate yourself to some kind of affiliate website or some kind of product. So how do you find these products? Well, there are a few ways you can do that. 
One of the ways is Amazon Associates. And Amazon Associates is you're going to be referring products on the Amazon website and you're going to earn a small commission every time someone makes a purchase through your affiliate link. That is one way of doing it. And that is one of the ways I use to make money. But there are better ways that you can make even more commissions by affiliating yourself to something like that has a bigger commission percentage on that certain product. So you could affiliate yourself to some kind of affiliate partner website, kind of like ClickBank. ClickBank, I've showed it here in this channel. That's a website where you can take lots of products. You can just click on the product that you want to sell, join as an affiliate, and it's going to show you how much you're going to be earning as a commission for that product. And you can just start referring that product and earn that commission. You don't have to have any inventory, none of that. And it's easy to find products. They have a marketplace for you to browse through. They, they have the specific niches that you can check. And then the product that you think you believe the best, you can just take that one and market it. Another thing that I do myself or want to find a product to refer to sell is I go to product products that I already use. Let's say I already use an iPhone, right? And I want to sell the iPhone because I think it's really good and I want to offer it to people. And when they buy it, I'm going to earn a commission. I could just go to the Apple website if they had an affiliate program and I could join as an affiliate. But since they don't, you know, we have to find products that do. Now, let me go through my list of affiliate marketing products with you guys and show you so you have an idea. So this is a spreadsheet that I built for myself to keep track of my affiliate links. So this is a YouTube subscriber link, a TubeBuddy, free cheat sheet opt-in page. That's the one that I just showed you guys. Keywords everywhere is another Google Chrome extension that I use to find keywords for my videos. VidIQ, I also use it in my YouTube channel. Digistore24 is a affiliate marketing marketplace, which is like ClickBank that I told you about. There is ClickBank as well, which is another affiliate marketing marketplace. Canva is another product that also has a affiliate marketing program and I use their program. So since I use it so much and I like it and I know how to use it, I also refer it to the people that want it and that every time people use it, I make a commission. System.io is a website builder, which I use myself. The website that I've just showed you guys, this one is built on System.io. So I use it myself and I believe in it. I use it to build my list. I use it to build my sales funnels, to send out broadcast emails. I use it for a lot of stuff to host my courses, to do affiliate programs. So I do believe in this website and I only promote things that I believe are good because those are the ones that I know I can sell, right? NordVPN, which is I use in my phone, my computer, my iPad. I use the VPN to protect myself. I use it in all my devices. I've been using it for years and I really like NordVPN. Artlist subscription, which is what I use to put music in my YouTube videos. I get all of my music from Artlist. Webull, I use to invest. Nexo is a website that I use to get interest in my cryptocurrencies and I use it myself. So I also refer it to other people because I really like it. Amazon on associate store. This is a associate store, which I host all of the products that I use myself. And if people, let's say they want to start a YouTube channel and they're wondering what camera do, do I use? What microphone do I use? They can just click this link. They're going to be taken to my Amazon store. And in here, you're going to be seeing all of the products that I use. As you can see here, this Logitech mouse is the one that I'm using on my computer right now. There's my drone. There's my microphone here, my camera, my laptop, which is the one that I'm using right now my lens. So all of the products that I use myself, I list here on my store. So if you want to see what does he use to make his videos, you can just click here on my store. And every time someone clicks my product and they make a purchase, if they end up purchasing, I will get a small percentage of that purchase because they came through my referral right now. There is also this other type of affiliate marketing that I've also shown here on the channel as well. And I highly support you guys. If you want to use it, it's called CPA marketing and CPA marketing is it happens when someone takes a specific type of action in a specific type of offer that you're offering. And one of the websites that I most use is called CPA grip. So this is the website CPA grip. If you're not familiar with it, you can just log into the website and you can find offers to promote. And then when people click the link, if let's say the offer is a giveaway, when people submit their email, you're going to get a certain amount of money, which the offer is going to promise to you. And I have also made several videos about this in the past. I've posted them here in the channel. You can just go check them out if you haven't seen them. Most of them have to do with YouTube shorts, because I believe that using YouTube shorts or TikTok, you can get the most amount of organic traffic, drive traffic to those videos 
videos. And when people check the description of the video, they're going to find your link to, with your offer. So when they click and take an action, you can earn some money doing that, right? I've taught you guys how you can do this many times here on the channel. And it's one of the most easy ways I know of using affiliate marketing with CPA marketing. Now, once you've made a list of all of the products that you want to affiliate yourself to, if you want to start an affiliate marketing business, what you cannot do is start promoting those ugly links. As you saw here, I have a spreadsheet of my links so I can keep track of them. And as you can see here, I've also bought them under my domain. So I've registered a subdomain under my own domain. What does that mean? When you register as an affiliate for some kind of product, you're going to get an ugly link, kind of like this one. It's a huge link and you don't want to use this. People are not going to use this link. If you use this link, you're not going to make much sales. What you have to do with affiliate marketing is you can't let the other person know that you're going to get a commission. Even if it's not going to cost the other person any more money, most people get turned off clicking links if they know that you're going to get a commission for some reason. So if you want to be successful with affiliate marketing, there are ways that you can do that one of the ways that you can do that is by buying your domain you can buy a domain let's say your name is mr reese right which is my name mr reese you can buy a domain mrreese.com and then every time i join as an affiliate for some kind of product then i can go into my website or my domain i create a subdomain with that product's name what do i mean by that so vidiq i created www.philipreese.com which is my name forward slash vidiq let's say for digistar24 philipreese.com forward, forward slash digistar24 when a person clicks here they're going to be redirected to the actual website there's an even more pro way to do this the real pros the real people that actually build businesses of affiliate marketing this is what they do let's say you want to promote cpa grip right this is just an example what you're going to do is you're going to buy a domain so the actual website is cpagrip.com what you want to do is you want to go check for a domain kind of like this you want to check for a domain that says something along of cpagrip.com let's say, let's try this one the cpa grip Com. So as you can see, the domain vcpagrip.com is available. So the people that are really pros and they actually do affiliate marketing for a living, what they do is so people don't know that if they're promoting this product at all, they buy a different domain. So they would buy this vcpagrip.com domain. And let's say they're trying to sell the product. They're trying to sell CPA grip. They're going to say to their audience, go to this website. You're going to tell your audience to go to the website the cpagrip.com and when they go into this website they're going to be redirected to your affiliate link and they're never going to know that you use your affiliate link to refer them to that website and that's how you're going to get the most amount of sales with affiliate marketing that is the ultimate technique and tactic you might call it of affiliate marketing if you want to get sales this is the ultimate way of doing it now another question that you might have right now is what type of products should you affiliate yourself to like i explained in the beginning of the video you should only affiliate yourself to the type of products that you believe in that are good but you should also look to affiliate yourself to products that actually generate some value to the people that you're going to be offering them to. Let's say I'm trying to offer you guys a certain product. A product that I could offer you is something related to affiliate marketing since I'm making a affiliate marketing video. In my videos that I talk about YouTube growth, it only makes sense that I offer tools related to YouTube growth to my audience. So that's how you're going to also get the targeted audience to buy your products. Let's say you're making a video explaining about certain types of headphones and you offer your audience a headphone right it makes sense for your audience to buy that headphone if you tell them it's good if you tell them you believe in it and if you do you actually use it and believe in it they probably will buy it because it has to do with what you're talking about but let's say you're talking to your audience about music and you offer them this bottle of water do you think they're going to buy it? Do you think they're going to be interested in it? It has nothing to do with what you're talking about. So what you have to do is offer your audience things related to what you're talking about. That's also going to help you be very successful with affiliate marketing. If you have any questions on this topic, or if you want me to cover some specific question that you have, make a second part of this video. Leave your questions down in the comments because I'm going to be noting them down. And if you guys have multiple questions that I can answer in a different video, I'll probably make a different video answering all of those questions on top of that i answer all of the comments that i get on my videos and i'm pretty quick to do that and if you want to learn how you can make money quickly you can click this video that i've prepared for you right now i'll see you on the other video work hard play harder